You are watching the Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, what you need to know if you're considering dental implants. My first guest is Dr. David Pumphrey. Dr. Pumphrey, welcome to the program. Thank you, Randy. Thank you. Now, you're a periodontist. You went to Emory. I did. Uh, what, what is a periodontist, by the a way? A periodontist is a dentist uh, who has gone through four years of dental school and then has gone back to extra training in probably two to three more years. And that person has then trained in bone, uh, wound healing and basically Randy it's a person which I tell my patients that's the person that deals with keeping that person's teeth in their mouth for their lifetime okay now dental implants how long have you been in and around dental implants it's interesting with dental implants when I first got started in my profession with uh, perio um, the implant procedures were not and this was in the early 80s the implant procedures were not as common but they required the skill of, uh, of, of a surgeon who would deal a lot with tissue management. Okay. And so as I'm working with my restorative doctors, I... What does that I, mean, restorative Well, doctors? restorative doctors are general dentists. Okay. General dentists that refer procedures out that they can't to the manage. To the specialist. To the specialist okay. that they can't manage or don't want to manage because they know it's been, it's, it's managed better in other hands. Okay. Let's say. So the dental implant procedures, I've probably been doing dental implants for 20 years. What's changed, by the way, with dental implants? Oh, it's, it's, Are they better? Much better. A, a couple things with dental implants. Number one, dental implants now, instead of doing uh, massive surgeries to put the implants in, painful surgeries, you can do now dental implants with flapless procedures with technology that allows for min minimally discomfort uh, putting implants in in sites uh, for, uh, for the patient's long-term health. Now, you said a long time ago people you had to put a lot of dental implants in just to secure a lower denture. Right. Now it's less. Yeah. With, with and people, why is that possible? Well, it's, it, well, the technology is so good now with dental implants that you can look at putting, instead of replacing for a denture, let's say, okay. a denture patient may have all their teeth missing. And if you're going to replace each tooth with an implant, you might be looking at 18 teeth or 20 teeth. And that's very expensive. Okay. But now what we can do is, is we can put in four dental implants and replace a fixed bridge that doesn't come in and out and for these people that are wearing dentures it is unbelievable because their smiles are brought back they're being able to chew and eat more comfortably it's amazing what the technology we talked on the phone through. and you said uh, that uh, there will come a day where no more dentures Randy it's interesting a story I have with a patient who was wearing a denture for six you know she's 60 years old wearing her denture finally realized that that I wasn't smiling. She wasn't smiling. She was losing her teeth. Her jawbone was was melting away, and she couldn't be comfortable with her denture. What we did was put four dental implants in. We're able to fix a permanent bridge on those four dental implants, and you can see her smile was just smiling from ear to ear. The confidence that she had was unbelievable. But you say that you can do it in the same day. Yeah, it's amazing what we can do. Two things we can do in the same. I mean, same day. Yeah. That woman could go right. in. Right. You have to do, again, there's a lot of diagnostic procedures that you do to okay. work yourself up to it. But once you get to that procedure, and a lot of it is because we're using CT imaging. We're using scanning machines that allow us to basically know where the bone is before we go in. You say it used to be a blind procedure. What does that mean? Blind procedure means we used to, not, we used to open up the bone, open up the tissue, and look and say, okay, there's where I'm going to put it. Now we don't do that anymore. Is that right? And you know when we were opening So it's changed your job, yeah. actually. Well, yeah. And, and when you open up the bone, you get a lot of discomfort. So putting implants in for patients now, it's very non-invasive and there's not a lot of discomfort. Now, in your office, you have like a little sanctuary area uh, or something like that? Yeah. It, what we've tried to create in our office... And why is that important? Buddy? Well, it's important because, you know, dentistry. Dentistry, there's a big fear factor. If I can get people to look at these photographs or look at my office and understand that what we've tried to create is a area when they walk through the front door where they automatically feel comfortable and relaxed. You know, there's a lot of anxiety about dentistry. Do you so, still hear people say, oh, I don't like dentists. Yeah. I don't like going to the dentist. Well, that's part of the biggest problem. They don't like dentistry, but dentistry's changed. So if you can create an environment that gives that patient uh, to feel comfortable in the dental office, that's already 100% of the time. Just get them to feel comfortable. Okay. So doctors okay. know when they refer to me, they're referring a patient to my office that's going to be, well, they're going to, we're going to know who's walking in. We're going to say hello to that person. They're not going to sit in a waiting room. They're going to sit in a reception room where they know exactly when we've already spoken to their referring doctors and worked out a plan for them to what we can do to help them. Do you meet uh, with consults? I mean, somebody comes yeah. in for dental implants? Yeah, we always meet in the consultation room. 
after we've done our examination, we bring them to the consultation room, and sometimes I'm working right there with the restorative doctors, the doctor that they referred the patient to. Okay. They would be sit. They might sit in the office with me, and we work together to work out this great treatment plan. And part of our goal is to. Uh, restore their mouths back to they were as a young adult and that okay. involves dental implants. Now uh, you know we were looking for a doctor to talk about this topic. You teach other doctors. Yes, I do. Tell me about that. Well, I've I mean, been from all over, all over the country. All right? over the country. I've been blessed to, uh, because I work with great restorative doctors and great general dentists, it has allowed me to have some wonderful results. So my techniques of documenting what we do to teach other doctors of how easy it might be, Randy, for one thing, to take a tooth out to put an implant in and put a temporary on it all in the same day. We teach that. Same day. Same day you can do it. Not an exaggeration. Not an exaggeration. A tooth in a day it's amazing. And, just... and you know, could you imagine someone walking in and we've had this happen, a young adult is going to college and all of a sudden for an accident or didn't have teeth that we lost a tooth and they're freaked out because what are they, young adults, they want to be beautiful. They want their, okay. everybody, my children are into the, the image thing. They of want course you're a dentist, smiles. you think the smile's important yeah. though. Well, we do think it's important, but it, the research tells you that it's important. People that have wonderful smiles build unbelievable self-confidence, okay. and they're unbelievably getting to better jobs, and those are the people we're working with. 